Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Epic Thunder here, and I'm bringing you another Black Ops 2 Emblem tutorial video today. And this is just, uh, I don't know what I'll call it, is a shaded uh, rank emblem. There we go, shaded rank emblem. I just threw this together, I thought it looked really nice. I'm hoping you guys enjoy it too, and now I'm going to tell you how to make it. So we're going to go, and uh, I'm just going to give you a general overview. It's a black background, and it's got two uh, lieutenant emblems to make this red and white little rectangle stuff in the background, then a sergeant emblem turned upside down, a white thing covering up the dual guns, three uh, private emblems for shading at 50% opacity, which adds a little bit of a three-dimensional effect, four of these all-clear emblems that add a gradient to it, an eagle, and my initials, Epic Thunder. So, if you caught all that and you can make it from here, great, go ahead, go make it, but sometimes people need a little bit more... Uh, detail in how to make this stuff so I'm gonna now go with the in-depth tutorial and first off we gotta get a background to make it black so just grab any any uh, layer you want and just make it black next we're gonna go ahead and grab a what is this a lieutenant emblem I'm gonna make it red you can this is the thing that you can do is uh, make it red you can do blue or green or whatever yellow next we're gonna duplicate and make it white this one's not as negotiable uh, kinda adds for the uh, layered effect of it. Now we're gonna grab the sergeant emblem, the one with three of these, and uh, we're gonna make it a shade darker than the uh, red behind it that we chose, or it'd be a shade darker blue or shade darker green depending on whatever color you choose. I just prefer red. You can use whatever you want. And then we're gonna try to center this as much as possible. Then we're gonna get a layer. I did not mean to get that. Hold on, hold on. And uh, Let's try to... Oh, yeah. Um, this is supposed to be a layer lighter than the uh, layer behind it, the red that I chose earlier. Just a layer... Just a shade lighter, sorry. And then we're going to get uh, something... I'll just use this here. We're going to try to cover up the uh, akimbo guns that are there. Oh, sorry for the uh, video black lines. That's my fault. My PVR is dumb. But uh, we're going to try to cover up that uh, akimbo shotgun look thing. Get rid of that because we don't need it. Then we're going to get the private emblem... Going to make it the darkest shade of red. We're going to turn the opacity down to 50%. 50%. And then we're going to uh, try to free scale transform this until we get it to the exact shape that uh, we want. And, and you know what? This is pretty much close enough. I'm just going to leave it like this. Copy and paste. And we're going to put this on the uh, top end of each of these three little points here I guess and this just adds for like a three-dimensional effect or a shading effect and it just makes it look a little bit better and more detailed so you don't have to do this but it does make it look considerably better next we're going to uh, get an eagle which is the uh, kernel emblem I'm gonna make this uh, same red as we did for the uh, original three uh, the original sergeant emblem then we're going to go ahead and get text. You can write whatever you want. Maybe you want to write your gamer tag. Maybe you have a clan. Or maybe you just want to scrap the eagle all together and you want a skull or whatever. You can do anything you want. This is just a template. If you have some original idea to go with it, then that's fine too. I just wanted an eagle and my gamer tag initials, Epic Thunder. And let's just uh, be nitpicky about this little bit right here. And then last thing, we're going to get four of these uh, all clear emblems. We're going to paint them black like the Rolling Stones. We're going to zoom in on any of the corners. And then we're going to basically try to round off all the edges so that it has like a effect of like you know a metal that's in a case and it's got like a light shining on it and it's just trying to give a really nice shading effect to it. Now we're going to copy and paste move to the other side and we want to try to make sure that the shading is the same on both sides and that way it's not you know, a lopsided emblem and whatnot. You want to try to make sure it's even. Going to copy paste again. We're going to move it down. And then same thing. We just want to make sure that we're getting the same amount as we did on top. That way it doesn't look lopsided. And then uh, that's three. So we need one more to move to the last corner. And then that'll pretty much be it for the emblem. So we'll move this into position. Make sure it runs off the corner. And I think that's it. I that yep, that's it. So I hope you have enjoyed this own tutorial video today, and I hope you do enjoy. Oh, 
Uh, I chose the uh, wrong colors that I did the second time. But same, same difference, you know. You can use whatever colors you want. Blue, green, yellow, purple, Thursday, whatever color you want. And so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed. Please like, comment, all that kind of stuff. And this is going to be my last personal custom emblem that I make for you guys. Because next week I got a little bit of a special for you where you can submit your own emblems for me. And then I'll pick a winner and that'll be the video that I showcase. And that'll be my last emblem tutorial that I ever do. So keep, keep tuned for next week. I got a bunch of cool specials coming out for you guys. If you did, in fact, enjoy it, then go check out this other video. It's a live commentary that I made that's, you know, just me playing Black Ops 2 against a couple of bots, kicking butt, and I'm just having a good time. So I'm hoping that you would enjoy that, so go ahead and check it out, and that's it. I'm done to rolling out.